And Valentine's Day is over, but for some, the search for love is not. Romance scams are costing Americans millions. News 10's Jordan Kudis joins us live this morning from the Indiana State University campus, where she spoke with criminology experts and has more on what you should look out for. That's right, John, that millions of dollars is being lost as simple as this. I'm going to show you right here. You just open up your phone, you download a dating app. For example, right here, it opens up and then you log in with a phone number, maybe a Facebook profile. Next thing you know, you're swiping left, you're swiping right, and you feel like you have a real love connection. However, you may be actually getting a connection to your bank account with that person, and you could be putting yourself at risk. Now, William Mackey, he's a professor here at ISU. He's who I spoke with, and he told me that there's a cybercrime study that is going on right now. He found out that on average, $19,000 dollars are being scammed right here in the Hoosier state. Think about that for just a second. He says this is up by 7,000 from 2017 and about four out of every 100,000 falls victim to it. Now it's called catfishing and this is how it works. Someone goes online as another persona with an agenda and in this case it's to get money. Criminology major Sarah, she told me that catfish, they tend to target those who are more vulnerable. They're looking for affection, uh, they're looking for just some communication because they probably don't have a lot of interactions with people and those scammers take a hold of that and prey on their weaknesses. So when you're using an online profile, make sure to ask personal questions. Where's the person from? What's their real name? And ask for more pictures so that you can avoid being put at risk. We're putting live from ISU's campus. I'm Jordan Kudish with News 10.